Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought I would do a process video of putting together this vending machine. Um, so Veronica from Buzzin' with V had created this file and she had shared it with us. So if you go over to her video and click on the link in the description box, you'll be able to get this file too. She shared this super cute vending machine file. Thank you so much for creating it in the first place and thank you so much, Adriana. She was the original like first creator um, of the like of the vending machine and then Veronica just made the file, but I am so excited to put this together and not to say that making a file, like that's a lot of work. So props to you, Veronica. So both of them are inspiring this today. I'm not I'm not doing any stitching. I'm gonna do this one without stitching. Um, also just because I have like a lot of gold that I had cut out. I have tons of gold glitter cardstock that I just wanna use. So I thought um, I would include that in this project right here. So we got all the pieces cut out. These ones are going to be, so these pieces are the little inside of the box. Um, those are gonna be like the little shelves for the chips. This is the outside and I had cut out um, an acetate piece as well. So these are gonna be the layering pieces and then this is a, these are decorative pieces as well. So we don't need those yet. First, let's put together the bigger boxes. There's a lot of like putting together. So I'm gonna put this aside too. This is gonna to be the base of the box. Um, but let's put, and then there's like some layering pieces and there's these little knobs. These are teeny tiny little um, square thingies. All right, so we're gonna create the base. So putting this together, I'm assuming I just, you know, fold on the score lines. <laughs> and it's gonna go something like this. I don't know if I should like decorate this side or. All right, I think this is gonna go like that, but these pieces are a little too long, so we'll have to cut that down a little bit. Um, I don't remember it being this deep, but is the box this deep? I guess they are this deep, so let me get some scissors. Um, in order to put this together. Okay, so this one needs some help going here. So he's gonna get chopped off quite a bit. Okay, so he's gonna go here. Good, that works now. These ones fit fine. And then this one's gonna get chopped off also. Okay. So I'm just using my art glitter glue because I am trying to just use it up. Um, but yeah, or should I put this on the outside? <gasps> Maybe I should put it on the outside because we're gonna have to glue these edges together anyway. Hmm. I can't decide. That way I can make the inside kind of clean looking. All right, so just putting this together like you would a box. Okay, and then there's this piece. I'm really gonna try to just put everything on the outside just so I could have a clean box on the inside. Where'd my bone folder go? I remember bringing it over here. All right, so I'm just pressing down with my bone folder and I'll go back and do this one too. Just to make sure it's all stuck down. I'm gonna do the same thing on this next piece. Just put some more glue down here. I'm just sticking it down to line up the top and then I'm gonna go in with my bone folder. It's my first time making one, guys, so I'm making this on camera with you guys and trying to figure it out. 
All right, so there's one little box. This is gonna be like deep. You could fit a lot of goodies in here. Okay, um, let's do the next one. So here's another, you know, let's do the bigger one. Here's the other box. This is gonna be the main box. So let's just fold all the score lines again. So again, I'm gonna try to do this on the outside. I know the inside's gonna get messy anyway with the other shelving pieces, but we're gonna try to keep it looking clean. Don't know if it's possible, but we'll see. All right, so again here, same thing. I should probably just speed this part up, but I feel like I'll just do it with you guys. Hope you guys really do like these real-time videos. I think they're fun because you actually get to follow along. So like go to, pause this video for a second here, then go to Veronica's video, download the file, cut out your pieces, and then I'll meet you right back here. And then you guys could follow along with me and stick your stuff together. What just happened to my glue? Would it die? My goodness, guys. All right, not sure what's happening to my glue here. Oh my God, it really doesn't work. I don't know what happened to this. All right, let's use my Barely Art Glue instead. Okay, I have a thicker tip on here for the Barely Art Glue, um, just so like I could have more come out at a time. I don't want like too much, but what the what is happening today is everything just jamming on me what guys seriously what is the problem all my glues are just like flipping out on me i don't understand okay guys i really don't understand what's happening here but i'm gonna stick this down because this is just ridiculous i've never had this happen like why all of a sudden are both of my glues not working? Okay guys, I don't know. I must have a blockage in the pieces somewhere. But if this third one doesn't work, then I have no idea what is happening with my glue. All right, so I'm doing another. Okay, this one looks like it's working. So I guess I just gotta clean out the other ones really good. Okay. Um, so we are going to, we're using this fine tip from Barely Art. Okay, and we're going to stick this down. Also, you definitely want to use sturdy cardstock for this um, because it is going to be pulled out from the box um, for the goodies and stuff. So we have those two boxes here. We're going to go something like that. Not sure yet how. Um, and then we have this last box. So again, let's just fold up all the uh, score lines. All right. And again, I'm going to adhere this to the outside. So this part is just repetitive because you're just, you know, sticking the pieces together. You've got all these boxes. You've got to stick together. So that's all that's happening here. Okay, so we have our boxes together. I don't know what's next. <laughs> That's all I got so far, guys. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure if this part's next, but I guess the pieces that go inside this box. So that's these pieces right here. Um, they're supposed to go like that. They don't fit. Um, Wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This piece goes in here, ha ha. Okay, so this one goes in here and, um, okay, I see. So you're gonna fold this, you're gonna put these tabs out one each way. So you see how it's gonna form like a little T kind of thing right there? So you're gonna do that for each side. Okay, and that, is what's gonna go in here. 
Just like that. Oh, okay. Look at this. We got this, guys. We got this. All right. I am going to put some glue here because I'm just going to stick these two together. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of glue. All right, I don't want to mess this up. What if I don't get it in the middle? Let me do like one of these pieces. So there is, should be four, okay. So these are gonna get folded in half two, and these are gonna go sideways like this. So these, these are all gonna go out like this also. One tab goes like that. Same idea as the other one. Oh, this is gonna be great, guys. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this in the middle. As best, you know what? First, maybe I should just like stick these together. I think she doubled them. Oh, I mean, I guess she had to because the tabs on each side need to go each way. All right, so I'm gonna stick all these together. Just the main pieces. You're not gluing the tabs together. Those we still need. Reading SVG files is definitely a challenge sometimes. This one wasn't that bad. I just had a question about like the shelves and I was like, um, <laughs> what do I do? And she kind of like sent me a photo. She's really nice. Thank you so much for sending me a photo and helping a girl out. Wait a second, this one. Oh, I think this one cut wrong for me. I have to cut out another one. My machine must have had a hiccup when cutting that one. Okay, so I got the other one cut out. This one is cut well now. It was just my machine acting up. They all do that sometimes. It's just like with any technology, something always acts up, right? Okay. Okay, so we have our four things. We're gonna glue this thing inside of here now. I'm gonna put some glue on these tabs. And then on the other side. So we do want this to stick down inside my box. I'm gonna pull them back and I'm gonna insert my piece here. And yes, you get your hands dirty, um, but it's okay. And then this I'm gonna use as an example before I stick that down. So this is gonna have to move over a little bit. All right, I'm gonna stick my tabs down. All right, and I'm gonna go in with my bone folder. So I hope I got a good placement on them because if I didn't, well, and I gotta make a whole new box at this point. All right, so that's that. Now we gotta do these little shelves. It's gonna look so cute. So we're gonna have, um, I'm gonna just arrange them how I want them. All right, you know what? As long as both sides are even, right? <laughs> that's what matters. All right, so I'm gonna put some glue on here also. And then again on the other one, on the other side. And you could like hold them back as you slide this in to not get glue everywhere. But once it's in, it's in guys. So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna use my bone folder to stick it down. And then the other one, that's a shelf. So you kind of have to like be careful with this. So you could use your bone folder on the side that's gonna be on the table, but you can't really use your bone folder on the other one. Oh my God, no, it's crooked. Guys, cannot be crooked, okay. That's better. Guys, it's coming along so nicely. Okay, I'm so excited for this project. I can't wait to see what it looks like finished. All right, 
So then these other guys, you're just trying to arrange them um, like the same height as the one on the other side. Okay, and then we have the last one. This is so exciting. You guys definitely need to give this a try. I will have um, Veronica's video linked down below so you guys could go watch that, see what she created, go get the file. And she did such a good job with this SVG file. Like I saw it and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks professional. Like I am not that good with, you know, SVGs, but she's like pro. I don't know if she like watched videos and learned how to make them or if she just, you know, maybe has been doing this a while and just kind of like knows, but I just started with like 3D crafting and when I saw her file, I was like, wow. Like, wow, for reals. Guys, this is so stinking cute. And this is actually very sturdy already because it has all the shelves in it. That is so great. Okay, um, I'm not really sure what's next. I don't know if I like stick them together now. I know this one is gonna go like down here. And then this one goes on this side right here. Mm, should we stick it down? What do you guys think? I feel like I should test it in the box. You know what, let's not stick it down first. Let's do some of the other pieces. Maybe we should arrange my box together now. Here is the front of my box. Here is the sides. Okay, these are the sides. I'm sorry it's so glittery. I know you guys can't really tell with the score lines on here. Um, it's going to be hard to see. I could see them, and you'll definitely see them in the file. And actually, I think this cut out without cutting score lines for me. Ugh. All right, let's get my scoreboard. The file does have score lines in it. So I don't know why my machine decides it wants to be giving me a hard time today. But it that's what it decided, so... All right, I'm just going in here and, oh my goodness, making my own score line here. This goes like this. This is the piece that I think actually opens up. So you don't wanna glue this down. I was about to glue this down, but I don't think you do. I think, no, you don't glue that down because then your box is not gonna open and it's just gonna stay shut. Okay, so what we do glue down are gonna be these. So we have these tabs here. And I'm just folding them because they all have tabs on the side and they all have um, score lines. So they're all already cut and perforated. These are gonna go here. Line it up with the bottom and they're gonna get glued down here. I'm probably gonna use hot glue for this. And these ones, I'm not gonna need to curl because if this lines up correctly, it'll, well, maybe curl a little bit at the top. Um, and then I think this one is gonna be like this top piece right here somehow. I don't know how we're molding this yet because I've never used um, glitter cardstock as my base and this is like some super thick cardstock so I guess we'll see we're gonna have to curl this too we're gonna have glitter fall out everywhere it's gonna be great so great you see all the glitter everywhere already this uh, cardstock sheds a ton it's from Michaels recollections but it sheds a whole lot all right so I am surrounding this as best as I can. All right, guys, are we ready for this? 
So I'm going to bust out my hot glue. These are going to go right here on the inside, like the tab. So you're going to get some, oh my gosh, I'm going to need another glue stick. You're going to get hot glue across all of these tabs and go as fast as possible because this is going to get stuck down right here at the bottom of your vending machine. Right. Then there's this piece, which I think kind of overlaps on here, but we'll do that part last. And we'll do this one right now. We'll glue this side down. So again, you're gonna go pretty fast. This'd be great if I could go fast if my hot glue didn't run out of glue. I gotta need to put another hot glue stick in there. Um, but yeah, just put it in, lay it down, line it up, and call it a day. All right, I'm gonna go in and press down this time before I get the excess off. All right, and just getting the extra glue off. It's already dry on the outside, so I'm literally just peeling off little balls of hot glue. Oh God, it's sticking to me. Okay, let me get another glue stick. Don't mind my messy craft space, but um, this is what we're doing. All right, so yeah, these guys, they just fold inside the box. Because this is gonna be the tab to open and close it. So you don't wanna glue that down. No, no, no. But what you are gonna glue is everything else. So this is gonna get glued this is so cute. Um, but I feel like I need to glue this down first. So let me bend. Wait, I already bent these. Okay. And I guess we'll line it up. Was this supposed to go first or something? I'm confused. Got too many tabs on here. I'm going to cut off a few tabs guys. I don't know if this is what she did. Probably not because she created the file and she knows how it goes better than I do. But I'm cutting off a few tabs so that I could glue the bottom ones to um, the other pieces. Instead of having to have these like hang out on the outside. You guys see what I'm doing? I'm literally just cutting off the three tabs. But you know what guys, even if this is not how it goes, this is gonna look gorgeous at the end of this. All right, see, so now I have the tabs that are gonna go on the bottom and the rest is just kind of gonna get adhered. Maybe it's supposed to go on the inside. Oh, that makes sense too. Actually, I think that goes better this goes to the inside but it's still good we don't have those other tabs there so that this fits better okay so I'm gonna put some hot glue on here on these bottom tabs now and I'm gonna flip this and I'm gonna try to stick this down as best as possible to the inside so you want to arrange it with the edge Line it up, okay, and then these are gonna go like this. All right, I'm not even gonna worry about these pieces right now because <laughs> I don't really know how they go, but I'm gonna add some hot glue. My hot glue trick is not working. All right, I'm just gonna put this down and Stick them together, I guess. Same idea here. Just putting some hot glue on the part that I'm gluing together. So, there's that. Now, I think I could attach my back piece 
Okay, so I'm gonna put hot glue on this one side. Trying to do this fast and line up the pieces and then just stick those down. So I'm putting hot glue on these top tabs now. Do SVG guys intimidate you? Because I do find them intimidating sometimes. Oh, this is rough. Ow. Got like nothing stuck down here. Good job, Carolina, good job. Let's take that apart. Take off some of that hot glue. It comes off easy on this glitter paper. Hope you guys are still following along somehow. And I decided, you know what, let's just do this side first because this seems like the easier side right now. This is easier to be molded. Okay, because this one I could like hold. So we have that. Oh, well look, now the top kind of shaped itself once we did the two sides. All right, so do the two sides first, guys. That's your tip of the day. All right, I'm going to try to just like put hot glue on those other tabs. And I'm sticking my hand through the window now, trying to just get these arranged and kind of stuck down. All right, so there's our box. Now this on the inside is going to go something like this. Look how cute this is going to be. Ta-da! But now we're going to glue these guys together. I literally have glitter everywhere, but I'm going to glue this like this. So this bottom one is going to line up with the edge here, and then this is going to line up with that bottom one. So that's how it goes, or at least that's how I see it in Veronica's video. Okay, and you're just sticking these together. Okay, so then I'm going to add this piece here. It's going to be so cute. I mean, it's already turning out so stinking cute. Okay, so this is going to get stuck down right here. So I'm going to line up those two edges and the base. I'm going to hold it there and also go in with my bone folder. So now this goes into here. It fits guys, look at that. Look how stinking cute that is. Oh, I love it. So there is a gap at the top a little bit. I feel like I need to put something in there because otherwise this would go like this if you push it all the way in. So I guess if it's sitting down like this, it really doesn't. Um, actually it doesn't move too much so that's what that looks like how stinking cute right oh my goodness all right I'm gonna add my layering acetate piece so I cut this piece of acetate this is gonna go on the outside here and then we're gonna start layering um, everything else on top so I'm just gonna put a layer of this glue on the outside here. Now you guys can't really tell because, you know, it's so hard to see on glitter. All right, I'm gonna take this box out for now. I think the other thing I might do is punch like a little hole down here so that it's easier to take out. But I'm gonna flip this and go in 
with my bone folder just so I know that the acetate is going to stick down. All right, and from here, I'm just gonna be adding in my layering pieces. So this is what I chose. This is from the Chasing Dreams collection. How cute. Oh, I did see she added a piece down here. I don't know what that piece is. It's not this, so. Um, I think she added like another piece like this though, but um, we'll see what I have when I'm done with this. So we're gonna stick glue all over this and I'm gonna try to do this fast because barely art glue does dry really fast so I gotta do this ASAP and especially because I'm using a thinner tip it's gonna dry fast like these edges are already drying Ugh. my goodness it dries too fast but at the same time it's also good it has its perks where it's good right all right, so I'm just sticking this down and I'm gonna flip it and then go in again with my bone folder. Look how cute. So stinking cute. Okay, and then we have the back piece that's gonna go right here. I really need like um, a glue that has more coming out of it. So I'm gonna use my reptile glue. I got tons of glues, guys. I stocked up before, um, you know, the stay at home order and everything. And I, I mean, I just ordered on Amazon. Um, so I, you know, built my stash because I knew I'd be crafting a whole lot and I've been loving it. Not loving the reason for it, but definitely loving working from home and getting all this extra crafty time. This cute little boxy. If I can do it this right. Okay. So, look at it guys, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. This part, I think maybe I should have done some stitching on here. Actually, it looks good without the stitching, but what I did do is I cut out, um, what did I do? I cut out the pieces on some just cardstock first. So I cut them out on cardstock and then I kind of just drew it on this paper because I really wanted this paper to kind of match up when I glue them together. Um, I wanted it to be like one continuous pattern instead of like maybe this piece up here and this piece down there. So I cut them out on cardstock first and then I lined it up on the paper and kind of drew out my pieces. So that's an option you guys could do if you are afraid that the pattern will not be continuous because it's three different strips. It's not one long strip, so. Okay, but this is gonna go like this. So cute. This is definitely so stinking cute though. Loving this project. Okay, let me open my box. And I'm gonna go in with my bone folder. I'm so happy she made this into a box. She doesn't know if Adriana's was a box or not because she only had a photo. She didn't have like um, anything else. So she wasn't sure if Adriana's was a box, but she turned hers into a box. And it's so cute. Thank you so much for sharing this with us. Yes. So we could all craft it could all tag you in our beautiful creations. And I hope you guys create this too. This is such a fun project. Definitely tag me too. I want to see your creations, guys. Tag everybody. Tag all your friends. Have everybody create this. Because it's so cute. How cute, guys, right? Okay, and then the last thing. Let me put this back in here. Close it back up. All right, so what we're gonna have to do here is stick down the middle first. Try to make it even on both sides. Just rubbing this in so that this part could stick down. And then I'll put some glue here. And I'm kinda gonna pull like tightly 
to make sure that adheres there and kind of covers up that other like gold cardstock. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. And then I still have a couple of more layering pieces. So I was gonna do more gold on these edges here. Oh my God, it's so cute. I think I ruined my glue again. I think I clogged it. I always forget to close it. No, I didn't, okay. Um, so I'm gonna put down this piece going back to my Barely Art because I need the fine tip now. How cute, right? Oh, guys, we didn't even do our buttons yet. Oops. Forgot about that. I have the pieces sitting right here, but I totally forgot. How cute! I was gonna add like pearls and stuff around it, but I thought it was a little much. Like I tried to look at it before and I thought it'd be a little bit too much, so. All right, I'm gonna put my box in here and then let's do the top pieces. Oh my God, how adorable is this? Okay, so we have these pieces right here. Oh my God, I, my desk is honestly covered in glitter. Um, so we got these pieces. Now there's little tabs. I gotta show you guys up close. Not sure if you guys could even see that, but there's these little tabs that are gonna go like that. Then this is going to get folded in, um, but this is what's going to get glued down to your paper. And you could like create a box first, to, like glue those pieces down and then you'll have a little box and then the other little pieces will get down to glued to your box. So I hope you guys know what I mean. I'm just going to glue these pieces together, but it's like a teeny, 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 tiny little tab. Let me show you guys what I mean. So these tabs. Now we're gonna go like this and you have like cute little um, buttons or window thingies for your vending machine. So I'm not gonna glue them down yet because I wanna see how it's gonna go. And I was supposed to have these pieces on top but I just think it's a little too much with that. So I might cut something else out first. I think that's like how they go. So I'm gonna glue them down one by one. You just gotta get glue on the whole entire thing and then stick it down. There's my button things. I think I'm gonna get like a dark pink um, paper and glue that on top of these layering pieces. So let me go cut that out. Okay, so for these pieces, I just found like this piece of paper in my scrap pile. I never use these like little pages and this was just random in some kind of kit like a really long time ago. I think it was actually maybe like a freebie from, I don't know, Simon Says Stamp or something. I don't, I don't really know. But I just took this piece, I lined it up and cut out three, and I'm going to glue these down now. I think they look really cute. Definitely looks better with the pink than it did with the gold. And again, I forgot to close my glue. No wonder it dries up and then doesn't want to work for me. I love the feel of this being like so tropically. It looks so cute. And this is my first time playing with the Chasing Dreams collection. How cute! Guys, I am in love. In love with my little vending machine. All right, so I think I might decorate this in another video. Um, I don't know how I want to decorate it yet, so I'm going to finish this video here because I got to think about it a little bit. I don't want anything to be too overpowering because I really like um, the paper on here. Um, so we'll see. Maybe we'll just decorate the outside a little bit, but I'm not sure. Maybe we won't. Maybe we will. Um, but I'm really liking it kind of just as it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out um, Veronica's video and you could get the file from underneath her video for this um, super cute vending machine. And I still gotta make little like chip bags to put in here um, and stuff like that. This one I'm probably gonna keep for myself. I'm not gonna gift this to anybody, but I'll probably make another one to gift because um, it's so cute. So I don't know, I, I'll put, probably put some chip bags, but um, I don't know if I'll put anything inside because it's gonna be for me. Or maybe I will. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But this is the um, base of the box. So it's so cute. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon.
Bye.